Hello, I am Amber from Amber Rigdell Beauty and I am here to show you this fabulous makeup um, that is becoming super popular um, and I need to share it with you. It has, over the past year I have used this makeup um, and it has forever changed my life. I got rid of all my liquid foundations, my powders, um, it's just been fantastic. So because I love it so much, I am going to share it with you and show you how fast and easy this actually is and how foolproof. So before I do that, I'm going to just pull my hair back for you. And so this is all you need. You will want more, like the eyeshadows and um, all of that, but this is basically your face in a palette. So this is your two highlight colors, so your foundation and concealer. So this one would be your main color. This one is your brightening color, which would be your concealer. Um, this is the contour and this is the lip and cheek color. So yes, lip and cheek. So you can use it on your lips and your cheeks. So this is just going to be one layer on my face, kind of paint by numbers, and I will just blend it in with one of my brushes. Um, it is cream based, so it moves with your skin. And it is, um, doesn't feel cakey, it's super light, um, it's done great things for my skin, um, just because it is cream based, so it's not clogging my, my pores. So I'm going to start with my contour color. The contour is what gives your face the definition, or the shadows, where you need the shadows. So that is going to be placed along your hairline. Yeah, there's no wrong way of applying this though. Um, the second place I'm gonna place my contour is just on that cheekbone or just a little bit below. So you can kind of gauge that by where your ear uh, stops here. So I'm just going to place the contour there. And because it's super pigmented, you seriously do not need a lot. So this is what's going to create the shadow to make your face appear narrower. And I'm gonna do my jaw line as well. Again, so this is gonna create that shadow and you can kind of see that there. So that is gonna make your face appear thinner as well. More structured, I guess I should say. And put it just a little underneath my lip there and that just gives the appearance that your lips are fuller and then I'm gonna go in I'm gonna take my two fingers and contour my nose just this gets the best um, most even line and that just goes like that so it's going to look a little silly right now but it seriously is super fast um, and super easy. So I'm gonna go into my brightening shade, which is your concealer, and this is what's going to go into your T-zone, or um, where you want the brightest part of your face to be. So for that, I'm going to put it uh, just in between those lines of the contour. I'm gonna place it in the corners of my eyes, and just on the out outer part of my eyes and this is going to create the illusion that you have had a facelift. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit on my cupid's bow right in here just all the areas that you want brightened so that is the concealer your brightening highlight now I'm gonna go in with my mane and I'm going to fill in the spots that I don't have my 
other highlight or the contour. So, I mean, you can put on as much, as little as you, as you want. Again, it's super pigmented. So this is a lot. Um, you don't need this much. So these will last you a long time as well. Um, okay. And then I'm going to go in with my lip and cheek color. Today I chose Madrid. So I'm going to just place that on top of my contour. Just above the contour. And I'll put some on my lips as well. So you can apply this with your finger as you just saw me do. Super easy. Um, or you can apply with, apply with your brush. So I'm going to go in right now and just blend away. And it doesn't matter how, where you start. You can start with your contour. You can start with your brightest. It will all blend in so beautifully. And I'm just putting what's left on my brush, just on my eyelids, just to prime my eyes to do some uh, eyeshadow after. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do the contour. So at the hairline, you want to make sure that you're getting it up to your hairline, just so there's not a lot of difference between, like not a line there, if you know what I mean. And just doing little swirls. You don't have to press hard. It, it's um, super easy. For the contour on the cheeks, I'm going to go in an upward motion um, just not to bring it it down because this is what the shadow that you're wanting to create um, for your face to look to appear a little bit thinner. I'm going to go in with the contour on my jawline and then I'm going to blend down. And then just continue to blend in those highlight colors, blend it up into my contour. So you can already tell that it, you can tell that the contour is, has created that shadow on my forehead. Once I've blended that all in and I'm going to blend my brightening. So, and these brushes, the one that I'm using right now is the buff brush and they are specifically um, made for this cream makeup. So when you do buy, when you do purchase the um, Saint makeup, I definitely suggest getting a brush um, and it will last you a long time. Uh, especially if you purchase the brush cleaner, which is absolutely amazing. Um, cleans, sanitizes your, your brushes. And you can use, use it right away after using the, our brush cleaner. I'm just gonna blend that lip and cheek color up a little bit more. If you feel that you've um, put too much product on in one of the places. You can just go in with your main color. I'll show you that right away. You can just go back into your main, put a few dots there, and just blend that in. So that was one layer of makeup and it's covered my redness. It has covered any imperfections that I wanted to cover up. All in one palette, one brush, and that is it. All contoured, all my highlights, aka your foundation is done. 
and that is it. So it creates that, so you can see how it created that shadow there, so it gives you more structure. Same with on the cheek, on your cheekbone, and on the forehead. And that's it. Super easy, um, super fast, and please reach out if you have any questions.